Another classical mother sauce or leading sauce, bechamel sauce. We start with two, for one quart of liquid. The rule of thumb is four ounces of roux will thicken one quart of liquid. We start with two ounces of butter, two ounces of flour, AP flour or bread flour are going to be fine. We create our root, it should have the consistency of wet sand. There are three kind of roux, white roux, blonde roux, and brown roux. Most sauces, we really need to cook it to a blonde root stage. We mix our butter and flour, and now we're gonna cook it on the stove top until it reaches the blonde stage. We need to cook the flour to start removing a little bit of that raw flour taste. And then the sauce will simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes so that flour can be really be gone. Right now we move it to the stove. Our roux has reached the blonde consistency. Right now I'm gonna add one quart plus one cup of uh, milk. And even though before I said that the rule of thumb is four ounces of roux will thicken one quart of sauce, I'm also making up for water evaporation. This sauce is gonna cook for 45, for 30 to 45 minutes, a little water is going to evaporate. So I like to add eight ounces more of liquid into it. My liquid has to be cold. You never add cold, uh, you never add a hot liquid to a hot roux. It will clump up and you will not obtain a smooth sauce. A little bit of uh, milk decided to commit a suicide jump right there. If we're gonna be fine with that. We add a cold milk. Now I like to switch into my trusty whisk. And really incorporate that root in there. The root is gonna dissolve easily. Now the trick is do not stop mixing until this sauce reaches a boiling point. When it reaches a boiling point is what it starches will start gelatinizing and will start thickening your sauce. So it is very important for all your sauces that contain starch as a thickener to reach the boiling point. That way the starch can reach its full thickening power. My milk is about to reach boiling point. One thing you have to be really careful is when you're using a commercial stove, it's the heat on the sides might burn a little bit of the milk on the side. So just be careful that it doesn't fall back into your milk. I'm gonna, as soon as my sauce reaches boiling point, I'm going to switch pots to put it into a cleaner pot. So there's no danger in that, in those uh, little bits of uh, caramelized milk on the side to fall back into my sauce. It's reaching the boiling point. As you can see, it has changed texture already. I'm going to lower it into a simmer. So I just want to make sure the caramelized milk on the sides doesn't fall back into my beautiful bechamel. So I'm going to take just a clean pot and just pass the sauce into my clean pot. Take it down to a simmer. I would add my onion, pique it into the sauce to give it flavor. And now it's gonna go for half an hour to 45 minutes until it's nice and ready. Sauce has been simmering for 45 minutes. I'm gonna remove the onion pique that has been giving an excellent flavor there into our sauce. And now I need to check for consistency. You can always adjust the consistency of the sauce with just a little bit of milk. Your sauce has to have a nappé consistency. As we run the finger, it should leave a channel in there. I like mine just a little bit thinner. Just add a little bit of milk. And now we're gonna season the, uh, the sauce. Classic bechamel has nutmeg. Now nutmeg has to be present but not overpowering your sauce. I like to have my nutmeg really fresh. 
So I grate my own nutmeg. And that should be enough to give the aroma of nutmeg, but it shouldn't have full flavor of nutmeg. Season with salt because we need to have flavor enhancement in there. This sauces usually they get strained. If you strain your sauce, it will give an even more of a velvety appearance. Season the way I want. Classically, white pepper goes into the sauce. So straining will give it more of a velvety appearance. And that is your finished bechamel sauce. Has a nice consistency, coats the back of a spoon. And that is your nappe consistency that you want on your bechamel sauce. That's a finished bechamel sauce.